Okay, this is uh, just an update on the software for controlling the automated grain cart. A um, couple of changes this year. One, one is I got this panel PC from Logic Supply. Uh, it didn't ship with all the parts originally, but they were pretty good about sending the connectors and uh, it also took a while to get everything up and running, which I, I still think is a little bit poor. They should have had the touch screen and uh, that sort of thing working before I got it. They're, they're the ones that installed Ubuntu, not me, but it, it took quite a bit of configuring to get it to work properly. But uh, now that it works, it works really well. Um, one of the big changes from last year, and you can see how big this screen is compared to the regular combine monitor. Uh, it, it's dustproof and waterproof, and I just didn't do a good enough job of measuring before it came, so it's a little large, but it does fit, and I kind of like the big size. It leaves lots of real estate to do new stuff. So a couple of updates from last year is the uh, tractor health data. So the engine RPM, the coolant temperature, the oil pressure, and the fuel level are all right here. Then uh, down here I have a status whether the tractor is parked, uh, the GPS speed of the tractor, and the speed that I've requested from the tractor. Then, um, this year I have two approach buttons. So I can mark an approach on the field where I am in the combine right now. And you have to tap the button twice. And then you get a go to approach button. And uh, same, same for this one. The reason for the double tap is it's pretty important to remember where the approaches are because I don't have a map yet. And uh, you don't want to accidentally set an approach and then forget and send the tractor somewhere you didn't expect it to go. Then I've added this uh, auto speed function. This is actually pretty cool. I just got this to work today. Um, when the button is green, that basically means the auto speed is not on, so it just works like normal. When the button is red, it's kind of a use some caution. The, uh, the tractor is gonna select its own speed. And uh, it works quite well. I'll, uh, I'll show you how it works now. So in order to get the tractor going, we just hit start on loading. And then you can see there, the GPS speed is coming up, so the tractor is moving. And I am just gonna select its max speed to get it over here as quickly as possible. And there's the tractor. You can see here the GPS speed is 13. The engine revved up to accomplish that speed and now it's uh, slowing back down as it gets up to speed. And here comes the tractor towards the combine. I'm doing right now, I'm doing a typical harvest speed of around five kilometers an hour. That would be in, in wheat or something harsh. Now in canola, we can go a bit faster. When the tractor gets close, it starts its corner just like last year. Uh, but then once, once it gets close enough, the auto speed function is triggered, which is now. So the tractor slowed down just there, now it's speeding up, and it's doing this all on its own. You can see on the display it's changing. I'm not pushing anything. Now we're back to the tractor. It's uh, getting close. It's gonna slow down a little bit here as it gets to the back of the cart. Usually once I get in close, it starts to work pretty good. So now it should work okay. It's nicely lined up. If we had grain in the hopper, I could unload. Um, one thing this year is we've had a lot of moisture. Our fields are really wet. And this tractor was always a little bit underpowered for my old grain cart. Um, I've got this, this grain cart from Elmer's with tracks. And I would have never believed it before I tried it. But these tracks must add 150 to 200 horsepower to this tractor in soft conditions. They just float like crazy. I, I don't think you can sink this cart. Um, the tractor, if it got soft enough, would definitely spin out, but I don't think the cart would sink. So if that ever happens, it'll just be a matter of hooking on and pulling it out. But you can see here that the speed has stayed nice. I haven't adjusted anything. The grain cart, it's found its own center. Yeah, I'm gonna speed up here a little bit and we can see what happens. So as I speed up, it gets to the front of the cart but the tractor does speed up on its own. It's a little bit slow, but it, 
it works. The slowing down is quicker because I'm more concerned about grain going over the back. It kind of find it finds its own center there again. Um, if I slow down, you can see the tractor slows down also. Almost coming to a complete stop. Again, if I speed up, this is where uh, it's not quite as responsive speeding up as slowing down. But that's basically how I want it. And uh, we can go over here and turn the auto speed off. Auto speed is off. So now I can fill the cart by leaving the tractor to constant speed and I can get all the corners. And if I'm back here and I turn the auto speed on, I'm gonna do that right now. You can see the tractor slows down on its own. I haven't touched the speed of the combine. And then when it gets forward, it starts to go again. Thanks for watching.